now to item four, Judge Moore. <laughs> um, I, I, I want to thank my colleague, Mr. Wilson, because I think he covered a lot of the, my thoughts uh, about the airport as well. I'll, I'll try to be fairly brief. Um, one of the things I like about my job is that I get so much help from the citizens in this community. Uh, just look at the standing room only audience today and, and two weeks ago. Uh, I, I really wear two hats. I'm on city council and I have to make decisions as your elected representative. But I also am a citizen of Venice. I live in a Golden Beach area onto the flight path of runway 1331. Uh, so I'm pretty intimately familiar with airport operations. Um, I, I share your feeling that the property around the Venice Airport is probably some of the, uh, uh, the most uh, valuable property we have in the city in terms of its uh, recreational uh, prospect, its beauty, its natural habitat, its open space, and it ranks right up there with our beaches and our parks and our downtown. Uh, we, we really have an obligation to preserve it and to protect it uh, in every way that we can possibly do that. Uh, but I have to come back and remind everybody that uh, we didn't ask for the airport, but the federal government gave it to the city of Venice. It requires that we operate it uh, under FAA regulations and that we make it financially sustainable. Now, to me, financially sustainable means that we do not need to new, do any more than necessary in order to meet the needs of that airport and the community today, um, and also not to jeopardize the needs of the community and the airport uh, it, for future generations. But we have a responsibility, and that responsibility is to look at airport operations, and I can go down the list. Airport safety is extremely important. Uh, airport security. Uh, the, um, the idea that, that, that the airport is going to have a relationship with the FAA that will uh, allow us to have a continuing stream of grant money in order to maintain the airport, in order to make the capital improvements that are necessary. Uh, I would like to think in order to address the needs of the community in terms of noise abatement. Uh, the, um, frankly, I think the airport is very industrial looking. Uh, I really think it could use some architectural uh, help down there. I think it could use some buffering, landscaping, beautification, and maybe all of that would contribute to noise abatement as well. Um, we have personnel issues. How, how, much, how many people do we need really operating and running and checking that airport? So all I'm saying to you is that we have a responsibility to look at these things and how are we going to pay for them. Uh, we've been discussing uh, development at the airport for years and years, long before I ever even got on council. Most recently, three years ago, when those three proposals came in with the residential component, all of which we rejected. If we're going to discuss these issues, I think it's important that we do so with the community, that you be a part of the discussion, and that after we have discussed them and educated ourselves as to the airport's needs, its finances, how much money it needs down the road, then we can make decisions on what's in our best interest. Would that include some development? Maybe. I don't really know. You might find at the end of the day that some development might be very appropriate, might be an asset for the community. I was talking to a woman the other night at dinner who I'd never met before, but I learned she was a 50-year resident of the Golden Beach area. And she told me, you know, Mr. Moore, she said, when they built the intercoastal, I really was upset. But you know, when I look back on it today, I think of it as a real asset to the city of Venice. So I'm just asking you to be open-minded. Uh, as a former judge, I try to be open-minded. I try not to make decisions in advance uh, until I have all the facts available. Be open-minded, participate in the discussion, uh, let's come together and make some decisions. And you know, in the end, one of those decisions might be that we don't have to do anything at all. And if that's the right decision, that's fine with me. Uh, but it should be our decision. I, at the risk of belaboring this, I do want to just mention two other things. Uh, I, I know that uh, two weeks ago when we got five proposals, they were, it's an understatement to say they were pretty over the top. They were out there. 
Uh, and I think that not hearing from council for almost two weeks, uh, there was a lot of anxiety in the community and a lot of feeling that uh, somehow we were just going to pick one of those developers and in a few months the bulldozers were going to come in and start tearing up the airport. And I can assure you that nothing could be further from the truth. And the other thing that kind of bothered me is I've received, as you might imagine, a lot of emails and correspondence over the past two weeks. And in some of them, there's been the insinuation, the inference that this is a done deal, that there's something going on uh, that you don't know about, and that the decision has already been made about a developer. And again, I want to assure you that from my point of view, that is absolutely not the truth. Not only is there not a developer that's been picked, no decision has been made to even pick a developer at all or do any development at all. So I, I want to emphasize how important it is that you get involved in the conversation and that we do this together. And, and it's extremely important uh, to do that. I'm, I believe in the process. And I think, you know, sometimes how we go about making a decision is just as important as the decision we ultimately make. And I think that's particularly true with the airport, where some of our decisions might be of a discretionary nature rather than a mandatory nature. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Woods? Mr. Mayor, I certainly won't belabor the point because Judge Moore and Bill Wilson have accurately represented my thoughts on this, this entire process, too. Uh, as you well know, we cannot talk to each other about this process or about what's going on, which is, a, to me, a very difficult position to be in because I think there's some great minds up here, as, as you've just witnessed. <coughs> so I just uh, would like to thank both of them for expressing their thoughts on this issue, and I, I do second, third, and fourth those motions. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, I'm, uh, it certainly covered all the notes that I had taken ready to go. Uh, I would add one thing. Uh, there were a, a couple uh, of the organizations that make proposals that uh, refuse to take public input, and I would suggest the committee just eliminate them uh, you know, from the mix. And ultimately, I think it will make our job easier if we decide to go forward. <laughs>